Hello, I'm Captain Cody Cheek, a claims judge advocate with the claims division of the Fort Meade Office of the Staff Judge Advocate. My goal today is to provide a brief overview of the process for filing a claim for damaged household goods pursuant to a PCS move. In order to help soldiers and other eligible claimants understand the claims process, the Fort Meade Claims Division has created a flowchart that breaks down exactly how to file a claim for damaged household goods. Most importantly, this flowchart details the specific steps and deadlines associated with filing such a claim. In fact, by simply following the steps outlined within this flowchart, claimants should be able to both timely and properly file a claim for their damaged items. Let's take a closer look at this flowchart. The flowchart begins with the claimant noticing that some of their household goods were damaged pursuant to a PCS move. From there, the first step in the claims process is filing a timely notice of loss to the carrier within 75 days. This involves notifying the carrier within 75 days that certain items were damaged during the move. The importance of hitting this deadline cannot be emphasized enough is claimants who miss this deadline will likely have their entire claim denied. In fact, if you remember anything from this video, please remember that you must file a proper notice of loss to the carrier within 75 days. The proper form for filing a notice of loss will vary among claimants, but it is typically either a DD Form 1840-1840-R or DD Form 1850-1851. These standard notice of loss forms generally provide detailed instructions to claimants, but anyone who has questions over this process should contact our office a minimum of five days prior to their 75-day deadline. After a claimant files a timely notice of loss to their carrier, the next step is actually filing a claim for their damaged items. This is a key point that is often misunderstood. While many claimants believe that providing notice of loss is the same thing as filing a claim, these two steps are actually completely separate. Therefore, even after filing their notice of loss, a claimant still needs to file a claim for their damaged items. As shown on the flowchart, all claimants have two possible options for filing a claim. They can either file a claim with their carrier or they can file a claim with their local military claims office through P claims. Since most claimants will recover more money by filing a claim with their carrier, Let's walk through that process first. As explained in the flowchart, all claims must be filed to the carrier within nine months of the date of delivery. Once again, this is a very important deadline and claimants should take special care to file their claims in a timely manner. If a claim is properly filed with a carrier, claimants should receive full replacement value for all of their damaged items. While this seems like an easy process to follow, Many claimants get confused about how to properly file their claim. As shown by the third and fourth bullet points in the flowchart, the proper method of filing a claim will vary among claimants. In general, carriers should provide instructions to claimants over how to properly file their claim, but if a claimant has any questions over this process, they should contact our office for assistance. After filing a claim with their carrier, all claimants should receive a settlement offer or a full denial notice. If a claimant receives a full denial notice from their carrier, they can immediately file a new claim for the same items through P claims, which will be adjudicated by their local military claims office. On the other hand, if a claimant receives a settlement offer from the carrier for all of their damaged items, they have two choices. They can either accept the settlement offer for every item, which will then close their claim, or they can reject all or part of the settlement offer. If a claimant decides to reject the settlement offer for any other damaged goods, they can subsequently file a new claim for these items through their military claims office via P claims. Let's walk through that process. As shown in the flowchart, claimants can file a claim through P claims at three different moments. Immediately after filing their notice of loss, after they receive a full denial notice from their carrier, or after they reject all or part of the carrier's settlement offer. Unlike the shorter deadline for filing a claim with their carrier, claimants can file a claim through P claims within two years of the date of delivery. However, in most circumstances, claimants will only recover the depreciated value of their damaged items. As mentioned earlier, this key fact is why our office typically advises claimants to first file a claim through their carrier. After a claim is filed through P claims, it will be adjudicated by the appropriate military claims office. 
In accordance with this adjudication process, claimants will either receive a settlement letter or a denial letter. For all claims filed through P-Claims, claimants retain the right to file a request for reconsideration to their military claims office within 60 days. Hopefully, this video has helped explain the overall claims process. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to contact our office at 301-677-9898 or visit our office website at the following URL.